Hey man, I got the backpack. Shout out to Dennis from Babyless. You know what I'm saying? We got the chair, got the tray. We finna get video number two. We at Fish Street in St. Charles. Let's get it. Excuse me. Y'all busy? No. When do y'all got time? Uh, for a free cut? For a free cut? Yeah. Damn, shit, I get a free cut? That's free for real? Yeah. Cause you gonna do? We can do it right here? Who cuts it? Me. Let's see a beer, do this. Yeah, I can cut it, why not? Alright, say less. I gotta see this. I got it. And all he do is, like, what do you say? Do what you would. What's your name and where you from? My name is Nicholas and I'm from uh, Florida. Okay, how long you been there? St. Louis. Area? Uh, St. Louis, I've been here for uh, hellas. A while. Right now I do uh, PO chains and then I do uh, security. What do you do security? Uh, Metro. So what do you really want to do? Uh, sheriff. You want to be a sheriff? Yeah. What makes you want to be a sheriff? I like keeping people safe. Okay. And I don't like bullies. That's what's up. Is there, have you had something happen that made you want to be like that? Just um, growing up, in the hood and stuff and just seeing people uh, try to take advantage of you and, and stuff like that and just think that you're different cause you, and treat you a certain way it made me want to be like that. Okay. So was it because you was raised in the hood and you didn't want to you didn't want to have to feel like you was the hardest one all the time? Yeah. I don't so wanna, then, yeah, I don't want to feel like, like I got to be like this. All, I ain't got to I ain't got to rob nobody and do that shit just to be just to get respect and stuff like that. You know, you yeah. Gonna, yeah. How were you raised? How was I raised? As far as like household, like who who was you raised with? Uh, my mom, and then sometimes I'd go to my grandparents' house. Okay. This is in Florida, right? No, this is St. Louis. St. Louis, okay. I had my mom and my stepdad, but once like all my life and stuff, so, yeah. STL. How long have uh, your mom and stepdad been together? They've been together so long, by all they married. How old are you? I am 28, about to be 29, June 30th. Happy early birthday, bro. God bless. Thank you, man. Always. Right. A lot to be 29. What do you do at PF Chains? I cook and I uh, help with dishes. Is that a reason you came here? Uh, yeah. Honestly, it was quick and easy to do, and then I also love to cook. You like to cook? Mm-hmm. I love oh, it. Oh, you love it? I love it. <laughs> what, made you, what makes you love to cook? Just ever, you ever cook something so I'm good? A, and the only so reason I'm asking that because... Mm -hmm. You just asked me, have I ever cooked something so good? No, I haven't. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I ain't, my mom's a good cook. I'm not <laughs> a good cook, though, dog. Well, I started cooking because, like, for some fact, it's like, you ever make a dish and just how, after you're done the presentation of it, and then someone that you don't even know tries it, and they be like, it's fire. Yeah. And it just makes you excited that you, okay. that person calling you back saying, can I have another plate type shit like that. Yeah, yeah. No, I feel like, uh, I'm not a good cook, but I do feel like, you know, obviously we all have to eat. Right. So One thing I feel like food does make yeah. you feel love, you know? Right. I feel like food is a way to bring people together, though, for sure. Yeah, that's why. even bring, like, you yeah. know, barbecues, you know, family barbecues. Hell yeah. Hood barbecues. You know, when you have a barbecue in the hood, sometimes. Oh, uh, yeah, that's Some fun. hoods, they, they all close. They all come together. That's how it is where I'm from. Like, they got a barbecue on the block, everybody come. You got said ones? Yeah, I do. I, I got an older sister. She's yeah. uh, we got the same mom. I got an older brother. He's a year older than me. We got the same mom and dad. Then I got a younger sister. We got the same dad. And then I have uh, three stepbrothers. It'd be nice though. Like I said, I have talked to my dad. You know, talked to your father. You know, no matter what, you gonna make it on your own. You said what? They gonna your father? Uh, like like you said something. Like that they gonna one day regret not being like that. You know, there for you. They wasn't there for you. you know. Oh, uh, like that's crazy, bro. Cause my dad. When I was little, right, me and my dad used to bump heads. And then recently, like, the past, probably like my junior year of high school, we started hanging around more, like, oh, yeah. being around each other more, right? Yeah. Because I feel like when we were little, he was always disciplining me. So every time he see me, I feel like he was, you know, I was getting whooped, right? Yeah. When I got older, bro, I even said it, like, I did a speech, right, mm -hmm. uh, at his funeral, and I was like, as a kid, I didn't yeah. understand my dad's correction, and I hated it. As a man, uh, I understand it, and I love it. The things he was instilling in me is what the Bible told him to instill in me. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And how he was just trying to keep me on the right path. Right. Because I ain't going to lie to you. Like I said, my dad, he was very aggressive, but 
he wanted me to do right though. So at the and as we got older, we cool now. But it's like when I was young, nah. And it's important, bro, because you never know. Like life is so short, you never know when the last time you're gonna see somebody. Right. Now, when it comes to like your parents, though, I'm glad, bro, that I started going around my dad, cause I. For a long time, bro, we didn't get along. It wasn't his fault, though. It was like, I was being bad, bro. Right. And I was trying not to listen, you know? Yeah, I feel you, man. And um, I'm glad that I started going around my dad, especially, like, all the things he taught me, bro, how to be a man. I said that also in my speech, bro. The three main things that my dad taught me is to fear God, be a man of your word, and work hard. Hey, yeah. Young dog, make that bread. You look your dad in that necklace? Mm -hmm. Oh, he was a big game hunter. Yeah, that's all he did. That was like his favorite thing to do. That's Good. crazy because I love fishing. Bro, he loves fishing. He loves anything outdoors. Hell yeah. My dad's country, bro. Back to what you said about, you know, you said something about uh, Dolph, right? Mm -hmm. Something about chasing paper. Yeah. I feel like people get too caught up in that, though, bro. Yeah, like, chase it, but the whole, the whole world talk, talking about, you know, they want to all get to the bag, get to the bag. But True. when you going to do something that you love instead of right. get to the... You, Right, if you, you do what you love and you do what God put in your heart to do, God mm -hmm. gonna provide for you. That's true. I talked about that in a recent video. You gotta take what God give you. If God tell you to do something, you gotta take the step of faith. You gotta take action. Like, you know, Mo you heard of Moses, right, in the Bible? Yeah. So, you know how God told Moses, lift up your your rod to the sea. Yeah. It's gonna part it. Think if Moses got to the sea and just looked up like, Yo, guy, you finna part the sea or what? Like, God already told you, homie. I told you, right. put your stick up and it's gonna part. I think out. if he never did that, they all got caught. Yeah. He saved, he wouldn't have saved all those people, but he was That's faithful true. and obedient to God. And, you know, he saved, he saved his people. Since we're on the subject, what do you believe in? My favorite Bible character is Samson. Okay, so you believe in God? Yes, I do. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost? Always. Okay. Every day you Who taught you about God? God? My grandma and my grandpa. That's what's up, bro. That's yeah. Grandma on what side? Mom or dad's side? Uh, mom's side. Most okay, yeah, same. Yeah. Me too. Well, my grandma on my dad's side, she, she to taught church, me too, like, but... I grew up in the church. But my grandma, like, I, I was always at my mom's mom's. Uh, Obviously, God is the most important thing that your grandma taught you, right? Mm -hmm. Besides that, what's the most important thing she taught you? Respect women. Respect your elders. No matter to this day, say yes ma'am, no ma'am. Okay. Yes sir, no sir. That's what's up, bro. Yeah, they very military. That's yeah. dope. You got kids? I don't, do you? Nope. You want them? I do. Do you? COVID, people shooting each other. Uh, it, 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 it. That's another thing, bro. You got to think about the Bible, though. Look, so the Bible says he who finds a wife finds a good thing, right? Right. So then it also says in Proverbs 22, 6, train up a child in the way he should go, mm -hmm. and when he's older, he will not depart from it. True. So if you train up your child, you raise him right, you know, it don't matter what the world talking about. Right. What made you want to say yes to getting this cut today? I felt your vibe. I knew you was a professional, and I trust you. You ever heard the saying that you can trust somebody that you met in a day instead of met them for three years? I've heard yeah, similar things to that, like, you know, people can be, people can do better for you or want better for you that you yeah. just met than people yeah. who you know for I your whole life. Of, I mean, a lot of people like that in my life, yeah. You ever thought about having a restaurant or anything? Oh, most definitely. I call it um, Soul Rose. Oh, you already had, you already do something? No, but I want to open up a, a business, a uh, restaurant called So Rose. What's that? What does that mean? Y'all like sushi? Mm hmm See, most people don't, so I'm going to make rolls with so in them. Like, for example, fried chicken, candy yams, you know, mac okay. and cheese, cornbread. Yeah. But it's all wrapped up in a sushi roll, though, with bread in So it ain't going to be no, like, seaweed roll. It's going to be, like, a fried chicken roll. What are you? Like, nationality? Uh, mix, uh... A little Asian and black. Being Asian and black, right? Mm -hmm. Do you feel like, you know, how, like, obviously black people get dis discriminated against. So do Asians. Yeah, we sure do, bro. So, how you? What, what do you feel like make that better? Shit, sure, we all need to hang out. Uh, we just people just need to be a group of people who just don't. I don't know, like, mix mix white. But we just yeah. need to all hang out. We we really need to For all sure. like have like a. I got Oktoberfest type stuff, but it's something where everybody is, everybody different cultures and like, like Oktoberfest, but everybody yeah. different cultures come actually 
be learn the culture. Yeah, and I feel like learn how to come to a barbecue, a black barbecue, like exactly. for real. Uh huh. I feel like uh, racism stems from ignorance, like That's not true. understanding the other person. Cause why? Why skin tone matter? We all human. We right. all bleed red. Do you feel like you uh got made fun of for being Asian and black? I got made fun of being weird. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, anime and stuff like that, and uh, okay. just being myself, yeah. But that's the main thing, bro. You got to yeah. be yourself. The right people finna come around you. You, finna, you be yourself. You don't, you don't want to have to act like you somebody you're not to hang out with. Oh, right. I don't hang out with this group. So. I ain't trying to be Tito on Friday yeah, that's what's up that you do Nick that. Nick was on Monday. Like, some you know? people do that. There's a lot of people that. who do that, and a lot of people care too much about other people's opinions. So it's dope that you are yourself, bro. You just got to be authentic. You be authentic. The right people's finna come around you. It's life finna be a lot easier. I listened to DMX earlier, bro. He said, "Trust people to be who they are." He's like, "You can trust everyone. Trust a snake to be a tr trust a snake to bite you, right? Mm -hmm. Trust a good person to be a good person. So you gotta trust everybody right. for who they are." That's yeah, true. Sure. But treat people good, you know. Ain't gonna let someone else kill my happiness. It's like buying yourself a car. It says someone else buying your car. They got a halo over your head. Every time you see them, anything happening, I'm like, well, I bought you that car. When you do stuff for people, bro, you just got to be, that's why I say, go back to being authentic and being genuine. That's you got to do stuff from the heart. You're never yeah. supposed to hold something over people's head. Right. That's just being a good person. Like, what do you feel like, guys, your purpose is? Like, okay, for me, bro, as a, as a man of God, as a believer, I feel like we all had the same purpose to me, which is spread the gospel, because he said spread the gospel to, no, he, said, he said that spread the gospel to every creature, right? Mm -hmm. So to spread the gospel, to make God and his name known and use the gifts and abilities he's given you to glorify him. So what what gifts and abilities do you feel like God's given you that you can use to glorify him? Obviously, if you ask me, one of mine is barbering, one of mine is speaking to people. That's true. What you feel like What you feel like he's called you to do? Keeping people safe. My last job, like I said, working the Metro and, and stuff like that, I kept a lot of people from dying. Oh, okay, you worked for the bus. Yes, I did. Oh, so you probably seen some crazy stuff. I What's the craziest have. thing you've seen on the bus? Someone we said on fentanyl, and then, uh... Somebody did what? Someone was dying on fentanyl, ODing, yeah. and stuff. And I think it was either fentanyl or uh, heroin, whichever one it was, and someone touched his skin and passed out for a bit, because it's so powerful. Damn. Yeah. So how you, what you do? We had to uh, give him a uh, wait till he uh, wake up with a, uh, a Narcan. Mm. Yeah, and I met a lot of people that I don't work there no more, so I met a lot of people that I have met and saved them life and stuff, and they'd be like, I'm here alive to you, bro, today, and it yeah. makes me feel happy, though, I do. That's what's up, bro. I met a lot of people who do drugs, and the reason why they do them, they do them because they're trying to find the first time. The first time you ever done something, it felt amazing, right? They're trying to have that experience. Yeah. First time you ever had, like, sex or drunk, your favorite alcohol, you trying to feel, or got high, they want that same experience. Is why they keep doing the the, the whatever drug they own, because they want to feel that first time experience. Yeah. And I met many people that we saved and couldn't save, but the ones I saved and stuff th that did change their life around, it made me feel better. A lot of young sure. men who couldn't, had not father figures, I helped them get jobs and stuff. Yeah, yeah. that's dope, bro. Keep letting like, God use it, you know what I'm saying? Most and definitely, then, bro. I got to say this just so the people can hear it, bro. Like, everybody stay running to drugs and alcohol and sex and all this other stuff doing crazy stuff when really it's one person bro god the only thing you need that's true if you have god you have all you need he'll satisfy you know what i'm saying that's only true. god can satisfy you everybody looking for satisfaction in clothes sex money cars uh drugs alcohol when the only person the only thing that's going to satisfy you at the end of the day is god and knowing who you are know why he's called you to do what he's called you to do and if you know, the only way you're gonna feel like, what makes you feel good, bro, is to do something that you love to do. It feels fulfilling. Like, this this feel good to me, bro. That's Cause good. I'm using right. a gift that God gave me to bless right. somebody. We having a good conversation. And if you feel like it's uplifting you, it's uplifting me just as much. And that's what people don't understand. That's true. Yeah, he did his thing. Yeah, I just, uh, yeah, he did his thing. He did his thing for real. That's yeah, what I said. I knew he was a professional. Like that. All right, bro, I appreciate you, Most man. I'm glad that you said, yeah, man. I appreciate the conversation we have, bro. Continue yeah, to man. continue to let God use you, bro. Yeah, I be a blessing. Be blessed to be a blessing. You straight, bro. Yeah. I don't want nothing, bro. You sure? Yeah, let's have a good conversation. Uh, okay. Appreciate you, bro. God bless. You're welcome, man. Most of thank you, man. That was really amazing, y'all.